Hey guys, this is Adam. We're here for another engineering download. This is Ryan, also on the engineering team, and we're here to talk about our newest product launch, the Oxygenation Kit, or O2 Kit. And we're gonna be running through some of the different uh, options out in the market and why we think this is the one to beat. So let's get into it. Okay, so now we're gonna run through kind of the price points of all the different typical options out on the market. Uh, we'd start with kind of that wand style, which usually runs around $50. You just kind of uh, hook it up to your uh, oxygen source and then stick it into your kettle. Next, we've got the inline kit. Uh, there's a lot of different options out there on the market. Usually this is a little bit more involved to set up uh, so that you're uh, oxygenating when you're transferring from your kettle to your conical. Uh, these kits usually run $100 and up. Um, and then uh, at the top end of the market, uh, you'll find those really big tank setups. Usually those are set up on 10 pound tanks, really high uh, quality uh, flow meters. Those are gonna run by the time you spend all the money on your tanks and the, the meter, uh, you know, two to $300. And then finally, we've got the spike oxygenation kit where we kind of paired uh, a really high quality premium flow meter with a really low cost oxygen solution. And so we slotted that kind of right into the sweet spot of the market, $75, to give you everything you need uh, without any of the trouble. Well, first up, we have this oxygenation wand. Um, some pros, it's inexpensive, um, it's versatile. You can use it on a stainless steel fermenter, you can use it on a carboy or in a plastic bucket. Um, and it's pretty easy to use, but I mean, there are some negatives about yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, so the first thing that I look at and I see this is, you know, it's got a regulator uh, and you can adjust the flow, but you really don't know what your flow is. So you have no idea how much time you're supposed to be uh, spending oxygenating because you don't know what your flow rate is. And so you just got to watch bubbles and that usually leads to using up your oxygen a lot faster. And because this is designed to go on those smaller tanks, uh, you're going to run through that tank really fast and you're not going to be able to use this for batch after batch like, like we want you to. Yeah. So that's definitely kind of a, a, a con. At the same time, there's no gauge, so you don't know where your tank is. You don't know if you're full, half full, almost empty. Uh, you could run out in the middle of trying to oxygenate. Mm -hmm. So those kind of things are, are an issue. Uh, because of the wand going into uh, the kettle or the fermenter, uh, it has to be open. So you kind of get this risk of infection. It's not a closed system. You got wild yeast that can fall in, bacteria. Mm -hmm. um, you just have to, just in order to, to fit the wand in. And so, you know, because of those various things, it's just kind of not not the, the best situation. Yeah, for sure. And, and don't forget that, you know, you're not really supposed to touch this. Like right. if the oils on your hand could end up clogging some of the porous stone yeah. that this is. And I mean, that thing's fragile. Yeah, and it's very easy to dent. And, you know, once you dent it, the dirt collects in it and rust and things can, can really damage it. And so it's kind of exposed. So definitely um, kind of the low cost version, uh, but we definitely think you can, uh, you can do better. Next up, we have uh, an inline oxygenation kit. Um, some pros, they, you know, it's a closed system, so you're not gonna get any contaminants. Um, you can tr you're doing it while you're transferring your wort from the boil kettle to the fermenter, so it saves time. Um, and you can get some with gauges, so yeah. that's pretty nice. Yeah, and you know, you can see here how it works. Usually what you gotta do is you get this um, extra set of fittings and adapters and uh, tees here, and then the actual stone is right here, so you kind of put, put it in that way. And so usually what ends up happening here is you just got a lot more complications. You have more fittings. That's really why this type of system is more expensive. Um, you know, you can get it with a couple different kinds of uh, flow meters. You know, if you get it with a cheaper flow meter, you're not gonna be able to see what you're doing. You won't know the flow rate, you won't know the pressure. Uh, if you get it with the more premium one, which you can see an example, kind of a beat up example here is, um, you know, this is uh, stuck to the more expensive, bigger tank. Yeah. And so then you gotta deal with refilling that and- Going to uh, a specialty store. Going to a specialty store, you just gotta spend a lot more money. Um, you know, our approach in general is just to try to always simplify the brew day. And we look at this with extra fittings set up details like that, uh, and we see that as a complication. Definitely. And next up, we've got the biggest, most expensive option on the market, the big ass oxygen tank. Don't move. Next up, we got 
this type of oxygenation kit. Um, pros. It's not uh, really a kit. It's true. Yeah. It's true. This is, uh, you're gonna hook it up to this bad boy. And um, it's got a gauge so you can see how much oxygen is left in the tank. It also has a gauge so you can control the flow. Yep. Um, so yeah. That's, that's pretty much where it ends. Um, you know, this kind of tank is, uh, it's just humongous. Uh, it's expensive. Usually what you gotta do is you gotta go to like a welding supply store. Definitely. You have to put a deposit down to rent the tank and then you have to pay to get it filled. Mm -hmm. And then you gotta lug that thing home. And then once you start to actually brew with it, you realize, you know, you only got a couple feet of hose. So you gotta wheel it over to your fermenter and usually you gotta pay for a cart. And so it just kind of, you know, builds and builds and builds and you're investing you know, 200, 300 plus dollars in, yeah, obviously it's gonna last a long time because you've got a lot of oxygen in there, but usually it's like way overkill at the home brewer level. Even some of these smaller tanks are just so much more than you need and they take up space. For sure. Um, so, you know, really we're just trying to kind of get the right size uh, equipment for what home brewers are trying to do. Yeah, and I mean, the last pro is that you can hook it up to your spike carpstone bundle mm. that you already got, yeah. so. So now that we've laid the groundwork on what's kind of out there in the market today, let's talk about the spike oxygenation kit and why we did this. Why do you do, uh, why do you oxygenate your beer? Uh, you oxygenate because the yeast needs to have a certain oxygen level to uh, perform as best as it can. Happy yeast, happy beer. Uh, at the same time, we wanted to make a kit that was super easy to use and accessible and just the right combination of parts for a home brewer. Affordable. So, yep, affordable and easy to use. So kind of getting right into it, um, you know, the biggest difference here with what's on the market is we took kind of a real premium uh, flow meter where you had a gauge so you could see your uh, tank pressure and you had control of your flow rate. And we made that accessible to one of these, uh, you know, oxygen tanks that, you know, we, the, this doesn't come with the kit, but you can go and buy these from any hardware store, uh, you know, and it's, it's very accessible. Uh, these are cheap, they're like $10, $12. Mm -hmm. And even with this small footprint and, you know, what is it, a couple ounces worth of oxygen, compressed oxygen in there, uh, at the flow rates that we recommend, you can do, you know, up to about 200 gallons of wort with this. And, you know, that's just the right amount for a home brewer. Oh, for sure. I mean, anything bigger, it's like, it's gonna be too bulky. It's gonna be, you have to store it someplace. So it's, it's convenient, yeah. it's easy. It's, it's everything a home brewer needs. Yeah, and this is really nice. You can take it apart uh, off of the tank and literally put it in a drawer or on a shelf. <laughs> yeah, exactly. uh, I mean, it's, it's just very easy to install. It's very easy to use. It has kind of a good feel. Um, it connects, we have a ball lock fitting here so that you can hook this up to a Carbstone, which we either bundle with it if you mm -hmm. don't have a carbstone, or if you already have a conical and a spike carbstone, you can uh, connect up to your gas port that you already have. Done. Um, you know, it's it's just really just the right size kit with the right type of parts to do a really good job oxygenating without spending more money or space. Uh, you know, in your brewing equipment. You know, I think at, at this point. Let's uh, wrap it up. And if you have any questions, comments, you wanna to talk to our customer service team, learn more about this, uh, you could head to our website to find more. This is coming out fall 2022. And I think that's a wrap, huh? Yeah. Say bye, guys. Bye. Bye.